Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. In this video tutorial, I try to explain and demonstrate how we can link our project P6XCR file with the Power BI directly. So there are three ways we can link our uh, primary data with the Power BI. Number one is that we can link our power, uh, we can link it by the Excel. We copy the data from uh, Primera to Excel, may, uh, run the Power Query to make some uh, modification changes, and then link it to the Power BI. Power BI. I already make one video on this topic. Kindly visit my channel and have a look. The second method is that we can link our project XCR file, which is XCR, which is uh, directly from the Primera, and link it with the Power BI. In this top video, we will cover this topic. The third is that we can link the uh, our uh, Primera database directly with the Power BI. The third method is require some additional knowledge of the uh, Primera database and we need some uh, permission from the system administrator. So, which is a little bit tricky. I will I will try to make the video on the third topic also. But in this video, we are our, our scope is limited to second method, which is uh, we link our project XCR file directly from the Primera with the Power BI. So as we know that, as we know that uh, we as a planner and project manager, we are using Microsoft Family as our tool, and there's a Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and PowerPoint. Whereas, whereas Excel is uh, quite user friendly and very commonly used, but there may be chances of generating reports uh, errors easily. And it uh, and other uh, and other uh, disadvantage is that it, it is not fully automatic. Therefore, in Power BI, we can use our primary P6 XCR file as a source of data data, which is certainly minimize the risk that come with the working with manually created spreadsheet with that we are trying to minimize the human errors. Now as we know that uh, that Primera P6 is, in, uh, is, back, is actually a database uh, software the data uh, in Primera P6 the data is organized in the database uh, where all the data is stored in different uh, in, in this database the different uh, data uh, database all the data is stored in different tables around there is 170 or more tables which contains different information and fields these tables and uh, and fields are their references each other uh, using the relationship which is uh, either the primary and foreign keys uh, the we as, we as a primary user we know that when we are import or export the program from primary the file format is XCR. Means that we can say that the, the Primera is generating, generating a file which is XCR, XCR format. However, in Primera P6, we can use other formats also, which is XML, uh, spreadsheet, which is XLS, or Microsoft projects also. This also format is uh, compatible and in with the Primera P6. As a Primera native file XCR, it is uh, we know it is the, uh, the text-based file. Means that XCR data is tabulated in the text form. And which is uh, separated each other with the delimiter called tab. So means that XCR is a text file with tabulated data with tab as a delimiter. So uh, because it is a XCR, XCR is a text file. It is possible that we can open and modify the text file using the text editor like Notepad and Microsoft Excel. So the summary is that as a Primera P6 user, the Primera P6, uh, Primera P6 itself is uh, accepting some files. Number one is the native Primera file, which is the XCR file. The other format, as we just little discussed, that it is maybe a, a XML file, a spreadsheet, XLS, which in the form of uh, project reports, uh, we can um, generate the report to and from the Primera, which is a spreadsheet spreadsheet option the other is the microsoft project which is mpx so let's see this and how can we do in primera for the from primera to power power bi so first we assume before it's going to prime power bi i assume that we already created a program detailed program in this program already have activity id activity description activity codes are defined and assigned to values activity resource calculation are done and as to course resource assigned to the activity similarly the activity costs or expenses are already assigned to the program so once we have this one, the we run the project, we export the program and store in a specific place. So once we open, we once we export, we run the export, we are going to open the Power BI. So I just open the Power BI from my desktop. Once the Power BI open, you will see the one uh, open uh, window. There's, there's several options available, op blank report and other options. So I just select the blank report option. Once blank option, blank op report is open, you have see this uh, uh, add data dialog box will come up. Here we are going to add data. So get data, we just go on the tab, click on this uh, down button. Then you have that several options are available to get your data. 
like Excel workbook, uh, we, as we are doing in our method number one, copy the data, data into Excel and then bring in the Power BI. In uh, Power BI, semantic models, and then we have one text csv file csv means comma separated values so as we see just little before that in primera the data are stored in the text file so we are uh, because we are link our power uh, power bi with the xcr file so it means that we are link our power bi with the text file so we just click on the text csv file it will open you recently open folder so if you select the one one of the folder <coughs> where we copy our program so you see that it gives you message no item mesh your search so just go down and click on that all files it will open all the projects available so it will show your primary pc file also just click on the file and click open so when it is open you will see that it will open in the power query editor and it is not open the file so just click on the file and right click and select the csv text separated values so in this way it will open you two columns number one is the column number one and column number two if you see here the decks uh, data are separated with the tab so this all the values and this is uh, there are some primary keys and uh, 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 and primary keys and other uh, keys are there to link the data with them so to make this data into columns we just go in transform and there is one option available split columns so just go and click split column there is several options available by delimiter, by number of character, by position, etc. So because our, as we see little before, in PC the data is tabulated in the by delimiter. So we just select by delimiter and then we have to define what delimiter. A split column by delimiter, select or enter delimiter. So we just click this one and select our tab because the data is delimited by the tab. So just click on tab and press OK. So now our data is uh, split into columns. The column number one, one point one, one point two. There are several columns are available here. You can see that in column one point one is uh, the values are in the percentage T. If you click this one, you can see that percentage A, percentage R, percentage T. Just click load more. Okay, so these all values are shown here. So there are three or four types of values are here. Percentage T means it is stand for the tables. Percentage R is stand for the uh, registers. Percentage F is stand uh, stand for fields and the last is a e r m a t r stand for the last row in the x x e r file so once you do this one we have four and then you have a uh, current type this is a uh, currency type and then you have this one for the decimal digit two decimal digit what we have selected and then this is column number four is the project so now we have to add this uh, table names here so to add the table names here we just go into add column and in the add column this one conditional column option is available so just click on the conditional column and then you say if the column in 1.1 equals to you just press the value percentage t because as we say the percent t percentage t is stand for the table then then values you can select here if you, if you do, drop down this one there is two option enter a value or select a column so we just select a column and then make it column 1.2 so what will happen for the all the values of control t it will give you the values so i'll just press ok it will create the call table uh, column at the end of the data so just click ok and see it is created the color then just right click and press uh, go into transform data and in the transform data this one fill option just click fill down it will to copy all the data from here okay then just right just like right, just double click it will change the name you can say table underscore name and then right click and move to the beginning so it brings the table name at the start, just make it between column 1.1 and 1.2. So 1.1 it shows the column name, name and the number T and this is the table name. So this is our table name is shown here. Once you have uh, done this one, just click here and click this here. Just click here and just uh, just call, uh, click on the column one point one and click everything except uh, except just uh, remove uh, click uh, select everything except uh, the last row E and T so just uh, E and T so where is F and R okay so select everything except the last row and E and T okay then click OK.
Okay, then just make it reference. Now we are making the reference to extract the table from the from the uh, our uh, column. So just make a reference, and our first column we make it as uh, actually code. From here we select this actually code. So you select all. If you see, you do not find the actual code here. So if you don't find it, just click on the load more, and now you can see the actual code came. So just click on the actual code. Okay, it will come out actual code here values here, and then just go into transform make just first use a header. Okay, then if you come here, you can see this column 11 is uh, no value here, no value here. So this just remove this unnecessary column. Just uh, check this where this no values are here. Column 25, no value. This null, T8, null, 35, no value. Just check uh, something random, randomly. Or if you have time, check one by one to just to save time. And uh, you know that this values, uh, you after some sometime working you will, uh, you will identify that these columns are having no values but even then just have a look so, so that there is no mistake so no value so just select the last and then go column say 12 uh -huh. select again 11 then shift all and they remove the columns so it will remove all the column here. So now this is our actually code done. So similarly, you can make it for the other like task. Uh, similarly, you can make it here, right click and then make a, again uh, a reference. And this time you can say activity task. Okay, and then from cases you just select the task. Now shown just click OK and then select task activity and you can see here that yes yeah, it's not the task. You select task, okay. If you select the task, now we see. It will show you the task here. Activity description, task name, material on site, first batch, manage material delivery on uh, delivery first batch. Okay, similarly, if you go down, you can say snagging tower correction. So, this all activity codes are here. So, you can say activity, just double click this one, activity, task, PSK task. Task. Okay, from here, if you go on the uh, right hand side, just go on the transform, make uh, first row as a header. Okay, project ID, calendar activity will become here. Then, okay, if, and then if you see here, this values come like the table, when you start table, this it is uh, start date, early end date, this all dates are shown. And it's, it's now from column. If you go for the loca uh, location ID, there's some information is uh, there. And this is update user admin. So uh, location ID, this column 63 is empty. So just make it uh, column 63 up to column 70. There is no new values here. So just click and make it remove. So in this case, we can create the uh, table for each of the values we need it. Uh, now we have created activity code, activity uh, task. You can make for one for the activity resource, one for the activity uh, expenses. And then we in the next video, uh, we will see how we can link this individual table together. So the, to link this individual table, if you are in a hurry, you can go and please visit my channel and uh, see my Power BI video for uh, video before. Uh, it will be very helpful for you to link uh, how we can link it and between different table together. So 
So for in my next class is that I will create all the required activity, uh, activity tables and then we, in the, we will link it and create the dashboard code from this. So if you like it, please uh, like, share and subscribe this channel uh, and uh, please uh, share this video with your fellow, fellow planning engineer and in, the, in your groups for their understanding and learning, uh, learning uh, Power BI. Because as our, you know that Power BI is becoming very useful tool and very demanding tool in the, in the industry nowadays. So I hope uh, I, uh, that this video is useful and if you like it, please like, share and subscribe this channel. See you next time in the video to link the different activity tables. If you need the program, please uh, give a comment to me. I will provide the XCR file for you for your understanding. And thank you very much again for your time. See you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.